Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm pleased to yield three minutes to uh, the Chairman of the Financial Services Committee, a gentleman who's devoted a large part of his career to fighting discrimination and pre prejudice in the workplace, uh, Barney Frank from Massachusetts. The gentleman from Massachusetts is, is uh, recognized for three minutes. Mr. Speaker, I am impressed by the sincerity of the gentleman from Washington's advocacy on behalf of people who are transgender. And I hope as we contemplate this strategy today, people will fully examine that. Uh, I regret the fact that there do not appear to be the votes in this House to include people who are transgender. And I am struck by the eagerness, frankly, of some people to use that group as a weapon with which to defeat the whole bill because these are people who are opposed not only to the inclusion of people who are transgender, but who have historically been opposed to including any protection for people at all. I'll yield to the gentleman. Well, I, I, listen, I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, if the gentleman were, was, was listening to my remarks, I know he came in, unfortunately, after I had started making my remarks, but my, my whole point was suggesting that we have a process here where we can dispose of the measure either pro you know, for or against. That's all I'm saying. I take and back my time. No, that's not all, that's all the gentleman said, but the effect would be to try to undermine the bill. When people who are opposed to the basic bill and opposed to the amendment lament the chance not to vote on an amendment which would underline, undermine the bill, people should understand where we are. I filed the bill yeah. that included people who are transgender. He's not on a real screen. In earlier this year, I was very proud when this House passed a hate crimes bill, which explicitly included people who are transgender. My recollection is the gentleman from Washington voted against that. We are in the following situation in this country. We have had prejudices of various sorts. Sadly, prejudice ex increases as difference increases. We have made progress in, I believe, disputing the prejudice against people like myself, who are gay, we have not lamentably made as much progress in people who are transgender. I agree that the argument is there for including everyone. I agree that there was an argument for including legal immigrants in the S-chip bill. The question we have is this. If we do not have the votes to go forward with as much as we would like to do, do we then abandon any effort? And do we allow those who are opposed to any progress at all in the anti-discrimination fight in this area to use a particular group as a way to prevent progress? Mr. Speaker, I've been voting on anti-discrimination measures for 35 years since I first joined the legislature. And I have voted repeatedly to extend the protection to groups of which I am not a member, based on ethnicity, based on race, based on disability, based on age. I'm now a beneficiary of the age one, but I wasn't when I voted for it. The, and I wish we had the votes in this House to ban discrimination. Time's expired. I'd ask for an additional. I yield an additional one minute. Gentleman is recognized for one minute. I wish we had the votes to ban discrimination of all sorts. I also wish that I had as much energy today as I did when I voted to ban age discrimination when I wasn't eligible. I wish I could eat more and not gain weight. I wish a lot of things, but I will not act on my wishes irresponsibly. I hope we will go forward today and do as much as we can. I believe that if we are able to muster the votes to tell millions of Americans who are gay and lesbian that they are not bad people, that it is not legitimate to fire them simply because of who they are, the message we send to them those people the message we sent to high school students who go to school each day fearing the kind of torment that they will confront, that that will be the most significant advance we have made in fighting prejudice since the American Disabilities Act. And I wish we could do more. And if we are able to do this, I will continue my efforts to do more. I am glad to see a lot of recruits now to the effort to protect people who are transgender. I wish they were there when many of us were fighting expired. that many years ago. I'd ask for 15 more seconds. I yield 15 seconds. And I will make this prediction, that if we go forward today and adopt legislation that bans discrimination based on sexual orientation, but does not ban discrimination based on gender identity, 
Some of us will continue the fight to protect people based on gender identity, and many of those seeking to use that issue today will be our opponents as we go forward trying to do it. Time has expired. The gentleman from Washington. You have myself 30 seconds, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman is recognized for 30 seconds. I appreciate my friend from Massachusetts for, uh, for yielding to me and, and uh, at least entering in a, a brief exchange where I was trying to explain my position based was on the procedure and the rule. He took back his time and, and uh, while I think he may have conceded that that's what I was talking about, he said something to the effect, that's not what you meant. Now, I think he's expanding what my thought process is, uh, but I do appreciate the gentleman for it, uh, at least yielding to me. So with that, Mr. Speaker. Uh, no, yeah, I will yield to the gentleman. I simply wanted to point out that this proposal that we be allowed to vote on this issue comes from people who are opposed to it in all regards and who understand that the effect of that procedure would be to undermine our ability to make any progress at all. Reclaim, re reclaiming my time. This, the, the, I have a great deal of respect for the gentleman from, from, uh, from Massachusetts, and he is one chairman that regularly, I view myself uh, another 30 seconds, he regularly comes to the Rules Committee and wants to have a full and open debate. And, and, and I think that the gentleman would have to concede that this is a very unusual step where we are self-building into the rule an opportunity to deny a vote on a uh, on an amendment that was made in order. That is the contrary to what I've heard seconds. the gentleman say many times. The gentleman yield? Sure, I'd be happy to yield. Yes, the rule gives the opportunity to the supporters of including transgender inclusion the right Time's to make expired. that decision, not its opponents.